Hello, everybody. It's me, Ross, and welcome back to the Strike Invitational 2.0, the third fixture of round one. I'm joined by good old John Watson and good old Thomas Seggins as they battle out to get to the round two of the competition. I want to go over first to good old John Watson, who got to the grand final last year, the King of North. John, how are you feeling? Going up against Seggs. Battle speech, my friend, as you take on, um, or you lead the Northern Battalion into this battle with Seggs. Oh, no no pressure at all, then. I've got to say that. It's all guesswork with me. I know nothing. I know nothing. I was there for a lot of it, but maybe it's because of my old age. It's all disappearing. I ran... I know random things about you know Trevor Putney getting sent off, but I can't re- I can't remember the name of our last five managers. So uh, you know we'll see how it goes. Um, but if you want a proper fighting talk, I've got my um, Mr. Game Day gloves on and I'm ripping them off. And I'll, and I'll, uh, Kevin Keegan, I would love it if we beat you. <laughs> uh, well, I was not expecting that, but well played, John Sex. You got a. a- Big competitor to face up against, but I'm sure you're going to be confident to knock out a big dog in the early round. How are you feeling going into this one? Take it away, my friend. Not too bad. Um, depends on the questions, I don't really. But end of the day, I'm not from the north, but Kings, they've been dethroned in the past, so I'm pretty sure. Sex the Conqueror is here. <laughs> okay, then. Some great talking smack there. Let's get into it, then. Let's get to our first question. And our first question is on this man. In its early doors, Tyro Mings. Now, which club did he join town? Uh, which club did Tyro Mings join town from in 2012? Was it Bath City, Chippenham Town, or Yate Town? Tyro Mings, 10 grand town spent. And then we sold him for 8 million, plus we got Pittman and Fraser. What a deal that was. Bournemouth, you got robbed, my friend. But of course, Mings has gone on to, of course, make loads of appearances in the Premier League and played for England. So fair play to Tyrone. But a lot of money back then. We sold them for, and I think we were laughing. Um, all right, then, boys, what do you reckon then? Bath City, Chippenham Town, or Yates Town? Chippenham Town, mate. Yeah, yeah, both are correct. It is one-one. There we go. I think this is what's going to be the outcome. Good start, Segs. Yeah. No, now, we're no, going to go for a draw here. No, definitely not. Um, the next question is a little bit before both of your times, I feel, and it is on Trevor Wymark, this man right here. Now, how many goals did he score in 335 games? Trevor Wymark, what a player back in the day. A lot of goals. 335 games. A lot of games for the club. What part of the team during a very good era? Cool. Part of the FA Cup winning team. Hang on. It's fine. Just thinking it. This is a. That's probably before. Yeah. That's before your time as well, wasn't it, John? It's before your time. Yeah, before my time. Um, not long before my time, but yeah. Um, it's guesswork for me here. So, Segs, you've got. Fine. Yeah, it's guesswork, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've gone for one hundred and seven. Okay. Eighty-one. Eighty-one. Now, someone has taken the lead, obviously, and that man is John Watson. It's 104. So, John could have got double points there. But not worry, Seg, so still questions to take it away here. But, John, very good guess, and it is 2-1, John, on the Trevor Weimar question. 104 goals in 335 games. That's a decent goal ratio, that. Very decent. And I think he scored four goals in one game, I think. I think he scored four goals against Lazio, I think, in the, in the UEFA Cup back in the day. Um, okay, then. Next question is on a goalkeeper, and it's on this goalkeeper, Lewis Price. How many clean sheets did he keep in 75 games for town? Um, of course, once again, if you get it bang on, you get two points, so Seggs can take the lead if he gets it bang on. And of course, John, if he gets closest, he gets the point, but Seggs can also draw up as well. Lewis Price, 75 games, how many clean sheets? Um, of course, during the Joe Royal era, Um I think he may have been in goal a few times under Jim Jilton. Can't remember. I think so. Possibly. Yes, probably. Anyways, what, what are you thinking then, lads? What are you going for? I'm 15. 15? Well, I went 11 and dropped it down to 8. Ooh. Well, no one's got a bang a on. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. And um, I'm sorry to say, Segs, John is closest. It is 9 clean sheets so john 
Very close again. Sure. It's fine. Um, so, John has technically won because the next question is a shirt number, but we're going to play it anyway. Um, so, John, you have one, but we'll go question four. And it, the question is on this man, Paul Anderson. Which shirt number did he wear during his time at town? Was it 7, 11, or 14? We won't use the tiebreaker because we won't need it, but um, it'll just be good to see if Sex can finish off with their 7, 11, or 14. And I can use this tiebreaker for round two. Hmm. Torn. I'll go 11. Okay. okay. I think J Tab was seven and Anderson was 11. Yeah. You're wrong about J Tab is 18, J Tab, but uh, it is 11. Yeah. <laughs> it is 11. Um, but John, you are the overall winner, winner. But before we get over to you, Segs, unfortunately, you're out early doors, my friends. Um, how are you feeling? But good, good, good bat. You had a tough opposition in John Watson. Yeah, it is what it is. Good luck to the next round. John, thank you very much. <laughs> um, lots of guesswork from me. I, I, I genuinely knew that you didn't have to give us the options for um, Tyrone Mings. I would have remembered that one. I think I would have got Anderson, but the Y Mark and the Lewis Price, sensible guesses, I suppose. So uh, fair play. It was a close run thing, wasn't it? Well, well played, Sakes. I just went for, was it 75? Played a few games. I thought there been a few there, but... Oh, well. Okay. There we go. So third round done, uh, third game of the first round done. Segs, John, very good competitors there. John, I'll see you in round two. Segs, I won't see you in round two, but good effort, my friends. And um, I'm sure we'll see you out throughout the summer and bring on the next fixtures. Let's go.